What's up, everybody? Beard of Maniac here with NBA Game Picks. We're currently 94 and 45. We boo past our 66% where we want to be because we went 7 and 1 yesterday. We picked everything correct the upset in Indy, the upset for Cleveland. We picked Denver, Philly, Milwaukee, Phoenix, and Portland. The one we got wrong was the Lakers. We got the Lakers wrong against the Raptors. So we went 7-1 and one to be 94-45 and 45 before I get into this as well. I just got a notification from the NBA app on my phone saying Chris Middleton is out 3-4 to four weeks for the Bucks. That could be a huge impact depending on who the Bucks play the next few weeks. I'm not quite sure who they play, but that could be huge. Now, Giannis obviously can overcome. I mean, look at that, 35 points, 16 rebounds. But still, you need good guard play in this league. So Middleton being hurt sucks. So today we have six games. And we're going to get those, and then we're going to talk about yesterday. We got Dallas at Boston. I'm picking Dallas in the upset here. And it's not so much I believe Dallas is going to win. It's the fact that I gave myself the rule to where I had to pick one upset every game. And this is the most likely one, I should say, especially with the Hayward injury and the mismatch of Porzingis, Porzingis's length versus anybody on the Celtics. I don't... Yeah, Taco Fall is still in the G League, so height-wise, no one on the Celtics really matches up. Robert Williams can jump, but... Uh, Porzingis could push them into foul trouble early, so I think Dallas is going to win that. I think, honestly, I think it's going to be a good game. If the Celtics are going to win, I think they're going to have to have decent games from Poirier and Javante Green. And I'm talking between the two of them, a combined 20 points and 10 rebounds. And you got Minnesota at Detroit. I'm picking Detroit here to win Blake Griffin's debut. I think Blake Griffin is going to have 15 and 10 15 points, 10 rebounds. I think it's going to be a good game. It's a good matchup. Carl Anthony Towns versus Andre Drummond. Then we got Memphis at San Antonio. Picking San Antonio to win this one at home. The key here will be defensively limiting the effectiveness of John Morant. Now, Marcus Aldridge cannot play like he did against the Celtics, where he was absolutely a potato sack. He was a sack of potatoes on the court. He was useless. He did nothing. Holy crap, he sucked. But still, San Antonio, I think he will bounce back. I think he'll do good. I think DeMar DeRozan is probably going to be the key factor here. But the guy I'm looking for to show up for the San Antonio Spurs to win this one is Rudy Gay. If Rudy Gay can get 14, 5, and 3, like 14 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, contribute all around, I think it will put the Spurs in a really good position to win. And then you got the Houston Rockets at the New Orleans Pelicans. Houston, I just think, has too much shooting. James Harden is... Too much shooting, I should say, for New Orleans Pelicans. Burning Ingram has been playing well, but not well enough. Then we have Toronto at the Clippers. Toronto playing a tough game against the Lakers and facing back-to-back against the Clippers. Although they really don't have to go anywhere since they're playing in the same stadium again. I think it favors the Clippers hands down for the Toronto Raptors to be on a back-to-back. And I don't think Kawhi Leonard's missing the game due to load management. So... Here's to the Clippers beating on the Raptors. Also, I honestly really like the idea of Siakam versus Kawhi in this one. I just hope, don't think they'll go head, head to head too much. And you got Utah, Golden State. I kind of want to vote Golden State because I think D'Angelo Russell could have a really good game. But Utah is one of the best defensive teams in the league. And if we look down at the record right now. Does it tell us for the record? No, it does not. I was hoping it would. Uh, I think they are five and three, if I'm not mistaken. They're six and three. They're favored by eight, and I think they're going to win. By the way, the Mavericks, Celtics, and the Raptors Clippers games are on NBA TV today, starting at 7:30 p.m. Eastern, and they are back to back. So, the Raptors Clippers should be 10:30 p.m. Eastern. If you are interested in watching, I hope you uh, have a good day, and hopefully, hopefully. In the next couple days, we can get 100 wins before we get 50 losses, because that would be epic. Anyway, guys, hope you have a good day. Peace.